Hi, everybody. Happy Saturday. I am home uh, burning some sage and cleaning. I just cleaned my little, I have a two and a half gallon tank with two yellow apple snails, I think they're called, and a mystery snail, the darker brown, which I think is still an apple snail. It's just a different color. And he's having some problems with his shell, so I'm trying to uh, make sure I keep the tank clean and feed them and stuff. Anyways, I wanted to come here to my channel and say thank you, thank you, thank you to my 35 subscribers. Thank you for joining. Thank you to those who've been with me since the beginning. Thank you to those who share my channel. Thank you to the newcomers who have commented below and sent me messages of support and understanding and gratefulness for my videos. That is what this is about for me. It's not the amount of subscribers. It's just to get the word out. Um, although the number of subscribers helps me get the word out. So it's kind of a conundrum. But anyways, I wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you to those who've been here, who are here now. And those who are new to my channel who are visiting right now, take a look around. I'm actually going to be uploading my two videos for this week, uh, probably one today and one later tonight, so look for those. One of them is about empathy and something that I feel that needs to be addressed in regards to what a true empath is and what an empath is all over the internet and YouTube and stuff, um, which is there's a lot of inconsistent and inaccurate information from my point of view as being an empath. So, or sensitive. So I wanted to share that with you. It's something that I worked on with Spirit and I felt that I needed to share it on here. And then I am going to do another video, um, which is a surprise. Um, and then I have a suggestion and I wanted to put it out here. So for all of the subscribers that I have, please comment below and hit the like button if you think that I should do a series of videos about urban legends all over the world, including the United States and places that I have lived or visited. As some of you may know, I'm originally from New England, from Connecticut, exactly, and we have a lot of paranormal stories I could share with you that I grew up with, um, a lot of urban legends in Connecticut, as well as where I live now, which is 20 minutes from New Orleans, so, or 30 minutes from New Orleans, and there are a lot of urban legends and paranormal stories here, as you know. For those of you who don't know, I am part of a group that's actually on hiatus right now called Paranola. It's a paranormal group, and I also consult for Unseen Paranormal, who are actually my paranormal family as well, so, um, and then I'm a free agent where I do um, consults for missing person cases and paranormal groups. Unseen Paranormal, though, right now is my main group that I work with. And I also do private readings and private different intuitive things and stuff like that, which you all know. So I really, really love learning about urban legends, ones that I've never heard of before. And I like to get the right information out. And what I mean by that is for anybody who's visited New Orleans who's not from here, you know, you go on the tours a lot of it is bullshit. Let's just be honest. I'm not trying to judge anybody who does tours. If you do tours, that's great. But let's just face it. When you're a person who lives here and you have a tourist here and a tourist purchases your tour, they sometimes over-exaggerate or sensitize stuff, just like TV movies do, where you read loosely. You know, when you say, Let's just use this term. Um, when you watch a movie and it says based on a true story, it's loosely based pretty much a lot of it. And a lot of it is sensationalized to get the ratings or people to subscribe or people to do the tour, right? So when I first moved here, I know two people here who now know a lot of New Orleans lore and urban legends. And they basically told me the true story because we had gone on a tour at one point and I was like, what? So they told me the real story. And one of them that I love, love talking about that I know a lot about is I just I just think it's the Sultan House is something that I am so intrigued by and would love to go to the property someday. And then the LaLaurie Mansion, which so much information out there is fabricated or fake. Um, if you can't find it in history, it didn't happen. That's the way I feel. 
And so it's sensationalized. Anyways, so if you're interested in me doing urban legends, paranormal, or supernatural stories, please comment below or hit like. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, go check out my videos. I do videos um, about my gifts to help other empaths and other sensitives, but I also do videos on my fish hobby, as well as my two dogs, Pugsley and Wednesday, and I am Halloween obsessed. I am a witchy, and I love Halloween. It's my favorite time of year, and I am addicted to some of the Halloween channels that people do, and I will post a few of them below um, in my next video when I do the empath video. Um, anyways, I just wanted to say hi, and thank you, thank you, thank you for 35 subscribers. I'm so grateful. I do want to say, keep this in mind, when I reach 100 subscribers, which I know will probably take me forever, but when I reach 100 subscribers, I am going to give away something. So keep keep posted on that. So have a great day. And I will see you later today when I post my video. Thanks. Bye.